Hey everyone, welcome back to Random. And this is the first time you're gonna see 3.42G on my channel, the new Legion TD version. And it is different, I can tell you, and you're gonna see it. There's the first unit that's different. So this unit, uh, this, this version has a complete new builder with six units and upgrades and whatever. And it has some other stuff. I don't remember everything though, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I should do a video to the patch notes again, like, as, as uh, I've already done it. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna play Wendigo by the way, um, just so you know. Just not sure if I should build, maybe... Should I build a Parasite? Could help me, I guess. Wait, how good are we low one? Not that good. Are you going 3-0? You are, okay. Okay, so six new units. Um I'm we'll probably Yeah, sure. OP. I'll probably uh, tell you a little bit about the other units if we see them. But the parasite is basically you can buff a unit of your choice. Um this costs 20 gold, one food, and you can place it on a unit. Oh no, I don't want to pause. Or well, actually I have a lot of time to talk then. Um, so, unupped, 20 gold, 1 food. It increases the HP by 70 and the attack speed by 9%. So, well, not bad, I guess. Could be good for some, something like Nightmare, for example, like more attack speed. Like in general, that's, that's not too bad. That's just good to buff a unit. But yeah, it has a price. Like 20 gold is not that much, but one food is something. Um, I got you all. I won't, I won't, I won't go holder. Um, so, but you can upgrade it. So you can basically, I can click on the unit and I can upgrade the parasite for 120 gold. I think it has way more HP then. I'm going to show you like 300 or something. It has even more attack speed, a little bit of bonus damage also. And to armor. So I think upgrading it could be very interesting if you have really big units like Hydra, Tree of Knowledge, maybe Hades, although well Hades is not really like he's he's summoning a lot of stuff. Um, but in general like big units it could be very interesting. It might not be too bad to actually give it to like small units. I think I think actually even Nightmare is, is good for it with a lot of these um so i'm gonna give you a quick quick uh, quickly gonna tell you what the other tiers are of the new builder the builder is called darkness builder um the t2 is like end just a stronger version and upgrade has like some aoe attack where he shoots his roots or whatever like i don't know but we're gonna see it in another episode i guess a tier, the tier three is oh what was the tier three the tier 3 I forgot already. Oh no no, the tier 3 is um, a unit that has, is like a mini tree of knowledge. If it dies, it explodes to 20 units, uh, to 8 units with 20 damage each. And... Oh shit. Oh no, it, it works again, okay. Yeah, so I'm on east, so the, the Vendigo ability works again, some bug fixes. Um, so this works again. Um, what else do I want to say? Uh, yeah, the T4 is like a smaller Wyvern. It costs 150 gold or something, and like the upgrade has some kind of AoE, or like with, with every third attack or whatever, it, it does like some AoE. Very interesting. Um, and then we got the tier 4. T4 is a very complicated unit. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it's probably I can probably show you if you see it. Like it's it's some weird stuff. It's very complicated for Warcraft Three. Um, I think the unup version has something like it. It uses attack speed from from some units, and the upgraded version also does that, I believe, but also kind of opens something like like opens a zone where 
the attack speed of all other time stealers or whatever they're called. I think they're called time stealers. Uh, is even bigger. Like uh, where they have even more attack speed. And T6 is like a is like a different version of the Lord of Death. But it costs more than 300 gold, so it it's not something you can start with. But it also summons stuff and also the upgrade summons stuff. Very interesting stuff. Like the um, the unup version spawns two creeps that have medium attack and light armor and the uh, why am I pushing, by the way? I'm gonna stay to zero for now. Um, oh, I'm not too sure about that. I would add a T1. Um, and the upgraded version spawns siege units with unarmored type. So, very interesting. I definitely recommend to check it out. Uh, and I will save for Bloodrock here. I bid you. I don't know why I'm playing Wendigo this time. I have actually no clue why I'm doing this. But I just want to show you that Wendigo is a pretty good starting unit now. I wanted to show you that it's a good unit for level 3, but it's sent 2, so... I don't know. I was lucky I would have got a bomb in there, otherwise I would have probably leaked a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see how that works. I don't know, do I have to... Oh yeah, here, I can show you. So if I upgrade this, 120 gold, more HP, more attack speed, Damage by 12% and armor by 2. I might actually try that for level 4. Uh, if this holds 3, it holds 4. Oh fuck. I fucked up. Didn't send. No! He also didn't send. Oh my god, we were, we were so... We were so... I, I was totally uh, looking what he was doing there. Okay, fuck. Then let's hope this is still a scout. Oh, this is not even a scout. No. Let's not go for. Actually, this, this might scare them now if only two people send. What am I doing? Why am I on 2 1 now? Fuck, now I have to kind of push something else. Oh yeah, that's one of the new units. Uh, Void Dragon, I think the name is. We saw LOD Prisoner, they suck for... I don't know, like... If you want, we can send, but... Yeah. I really want to. As you can see, this Wendigo has way more HP than this Wendigo. Big difference. And I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> what am I doing? Why didn't I just play turret? What am I doing here? I'm probably just gonna add turrets now though. We could go. I'm not too sure about it. What are you doing? What are you saving for, Fire Lord? 240 gold? Are you also recording something right now and talking to your viewers? That's why you're not concentrated, or what are you doing? Okay, so this this Wendigo now one hits. Okay, not not if he has a spell. But well, his damage only gets reduced by 30 if he uses the spell. So he still basically has he only has minus 19 then because of the plus 11 damage. That's very interesting. But he one hits a lot of stuff. That's good. Cool. I got no clue what we're doing here. I have no idea what we're doing. Let, let's just get Immolation and, and let's say this was a straight 7 with a scout attempt on level 3. But I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Should probably just stick to the normal units. I don't know why, why I had to play Wendigo now. But hey, I'm, I'm killing stuff. <laughs> I'm actually killing a lot of stuff there. I don't really want to reroll because I know that I won't. I will probably not have the parasite anymore. Then I don't really have any units where I want to have the parasite on. Shockwave. I might actually really go semi holder now. Oh, okay, three new units. Hey, that's that's gonna be fun. Um. Yeah. Let's go, King. 
so I can finally get some income. I really want to sell my holster with this now. Don't know which unit I'm gonna use though. This this is I really like this unit. I mean, you have to remember these are unupped Vendigoos. I probably have to up them for them to be really effective with the with the parasite on them. Okay, this is not looking too good. So excuse me for this game. But I was so hyped that I can finally play the version on the end bot. That I forgot to send in level 3 and that I just started with Vendigo. So I could show you the infection. Wait. I do last. There we go. Oh yeah. So another change is that the king spells now. Uh, yeah. They scale, but the scaling that you see here um, starts at level five. Just so you know. So it says twenty-seven plus nine each level, but it basically starts adding plus nine after level five. So now it deals eighty-one damage, and on level seven it deals the ninety damage as always. Um. I think Immolation also scales, but starts with lower amount. I think it starts with 7, but I'm not 100% sure right now. It might not. Actually, I also got Aqua. I, ha I had no eyes for the Aqua. I, I didn't even realize I had Aqua. What the fuck? What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm being weird. But you know that already. Maybe not this weird. Uh... So yeah, all the skills scale now. So basically Stomp and Wave are more useful later into the game. I don't know how Emulation scales. Maybe it only scales with 0 0.5 damage per level. I don't know, like... They, like we, we had a test game yesterday. Okay, for me it's, it was yesterday. Um, where we sent 17 and they survived pretty... Like they actually survived our send on 17. Because they had to stomp on a king and stomp did a lot of damage, which really helped them. Okay, so we're not sending at all, right? I mean, you're five zeros. You you kind of have to send a hold now. Let me face the peril. I also do have to. I want I want to up my Vendigo though. Like, kind of have to. Your call. That HP. Uh, I don't like to. I think they would send more than. There's just a little bit of region. I say no, and he starts doing it. Ah, uh, that's a given. No means no. I am okay. Okay, I, I, I was about to pull another person, but I can't. Even. I'm gonna try to show you the other units later into the game. Um, they don't really fit right now. Um, but well, I'm hoping that the ancient Vendigo does a little bit of damage. Okay, it's twelve percent attack speed. I think the tooltip, if you want to up it, says ten percent. Not everything is is synced like that. Right. Let me so, but yeah, the shockwave do, should still deal ninety damage, and the stomp should deal still deal forty five damage on level seven. There shouldn't be any changes. But it didn't send. Oh, great. I'm still not a friend of Vendigo. I think they, they can be really effective level 3 now, but at all the other levels? I'm not sure. Vendigo OP, he says, wow, I, I just leaked. I should have just played something normal. Build more farms, great. I can't even do this because of one gold. Okay, 90 damage, perfect.
Don't mail. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't really tell you right now what exactly Don Mel does. If it's just instead of emulation or whatever, I didn't read the full. Like, I, I read the full changelog already, but it got changed multiple times. So. I think this is kinda like emulation, but. I can't tell you 100%. I don't know exactly what the spell does. Okay, I got Aquas. I'm, I'm, I think I want to build this unit actually though, but it's more like early game. Not really that good now. Time stealer, I don't have gold for this. Magic damage, it's it's a magic damage melee unit, so special, you could say. I should definitely push a little bit. It's about time for me to push. What did you expect? Of course I have to TK the first game in a new version. I expected them to kind of send eight. Oh well that they know about our archers also. I didn't even know about our archer. I'm holding a level, great. Yeah, we might be fuck 10, or maybe. In green state 7 3, but both teams kinda help pretty good. Oh, am I the only one holding? Ah, my units are OP. Easy. Totally saved us here. Oh, damn, I'm TKing so hard. I definitely want to build this unit on level 10. I'm still not sure though if I should build it in front or not. I think you can kind of build them in front as well because the summons tank pretty well. But it's definitely different than the LOD. I think it's magic damage, right? Oh, it's actually also chaos, but it's light armor. And this is definitely going to be a leak. Let me face the battle. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh well. That's what happens if everyone wants to play the new stuff, then everyone kind of fails. But I mean, yeah, I'm, basically it's just me building new stuff here on my side. But I could imagine that they are also trying out new stuff there. Okay, so it's 340 gold, so yeah, you can definitely not start with it. Question is, do I hold this, this level? I have to. I can't really build for it. I can build a T1 here, where I'm going to build my Ambassador of Darkness. That's the name. I, I don't think you. I don't t think people will call him AOD. I think people will just call him Ambassador. Um, but yeah, that's going to be placed here. Enlighten me. I would definitely like to send a little bit. I am Burp Mass. Two for mass. Right, let's go. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm playing here, what kind of unit combination. Venigus, TOT, Aqua, Turret. Do an Ambassador of Darkness. Most likely gonna leak level 9. Ah, oh, no. My Vendigos are very, very strong. They are really strong. Don't really have a unit though that works at Velvet Parasites. I mean, I can't build them anymore, so I kind of only have them on the Vendigos now. But at least I might be fine for 14. I think Vendigos are also not that bad for 15. 
I think they are okay. I stand ready. That's the upgraded dragon. I think it does AoE damage with every fifth attack. Like at least it has five mana. I think that's what it does. We are all attempting to hold 10, that will be interesting. Devil sends so hard. They will probably send us hard as we did. Oh, we, we did a lot of mass. I'm gonna save the rest. There he is. So he summons, invokes to Banisher for 60 seconds to extract the souls of the enemies. 430 HP, 55 to 62 damage, 1 attack speed. So it's kinda like it's almost like it's it's a little bit it's a little bit more damage considering it's it's two units i summon here but they have less hp so they're kind of squishy so they're not the very best to tank you want like just the hp per gold not as good as a lot of death but very good still i think and if you up it for 360 then i think it summons three units and they have siege so they are very good 17. i really like that that we have some new units for 17. Uh, yeah, the sums already died. <laughs> I spaced out there for a second. Uh, not even gonna kill one. You're not gonna kill one. You killed one. You didn't kill one. What a great game, but hey, they leaked 36, so they did worse, right? I mean, so far we got all our heals, so... It will be... I think if you, if you want to farm elo right now and you are above 1200, just go to the 1200 port and play stuff that you know. I think you can just clamp elo like this. But we don't care that much about the elo, we care about trying out all the new stuff, right? So I hope that the other videos will not be like this though. It shall be done. Oh, did you build one? I, like, I, personally, I personally looked at the white dragon and was like, oh shit, this unit is like a weak vibrant. Other people say it's it's balanced or it's even strong, so I, I, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Maybe it's actually more useful to use wave now since it scales like this. I mean, how much damage does it deal already? Shockwave 6? So, 6 times 9, 54 more. Is that how it works? I don't know how much it that did. I don't know, but we only lost one heal, so that's fine. Actually, that means you really don't need a lot of attack damage to one hit the vibrance afterwards. Ah. Okay, so they have at least a better push than us. We are all 7-3, we're so bad. Can't even show you the time stealer. Let me show you the tree of time though. Oh, that might actually be an interesting combo. Tree of time and time stealer. Upgrade complete. They look pretty similar. Okay, what else do they have? They have this malformation also, so then one guy has the obliteration dragon. And parasited units. Oh! Oh no, no, it's, I thought it's a mirror image, but it's, it's just two mavericks. They are fucking tanky. I wonder if the mirror image is also more tanky then. That might be a big buff actually for this unit then. This is a really close arena fight that we're probably gonna lose. Damn it. 
That witch doctor did a lot of work. Okay, how can we possibly win this? What are the options? I am prepared. Three heals. Okay, so as many as we do, and they got Thornmail. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell you yet what what Thornmail really does, and how strong it is on certain waves. So, let me check their units. I see Meat Wagon with Elder Witch Doctor. Like here's something else, but I can't see it. I think those are malformations. Uh, parasited Mavericks. Dragon, Clock Rex, Alpha Male. Hades, Phantom. Oh shit. He is gonna carry this, most likely. Okay, how do we do this? Clock 15. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I believe we don't have the rust units, so we probably just have to try and survive 14 and clock 15. I hope we have enough. Game changed a lot. Thank <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> the thing is, I even played it yesterday, like two games, and I played it before as well, and today it feels like so different again. <laughs> even though, like, nothing really got changed. Okay, we can't go 15. Well. Without leaks, we can definitely not go 15. Okay, let's up this. I want to show you the other unit. I uh, need to build a farm. I want to show you the pure darkness. By the way, uh, pure darkness cannot resummon. Um, he has only one mana, he's, he's not able, not, not even with a messiah, is he able to, to re-summon his unit. So he can only summon them once. But the ability itself is a little bit more complicated, as you can see here. Because he will basically create portal, in those portal he spawns, he summons three black death. And the portal also, um, is gonna explode. And the creeps he summons deal some area of effect damage. Here's the portal, and then he spawns those creeps. There, like, like death. They're kind of squishy, I mean, of course, I mean, they just get focused down by the sirens right now. But they have good damage also. Clock 17, yeah. That would be the plan. I mean, can anyone hold it? We have turret, archer, hydra, and... Well, I actually got good stuff. But I don't know how good that is. I just hope Teal is not able to hold. It has begun. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can if I can show you this unit now or if I need to build something else so I don't leak. I think I need to build one one more. So I don't leak, and then I can show you the other units. It's gonna, it's gonna fit into my units, I think. Job's done. But it kind of sucks as my TOT is there in the back. Hmm. Yellow and green don't like new units. They don't like change. I am prepared. I think it's best if we don't pull 16 and 17. I mean, we can actually do this because we have an archer and a turret, so they won't send 16. And also, shockwave should be super strong 16. Shockwave 9. I think it's it's 8 levels then. Because shockwave 1 is basically just the, the classic damage. So that means this would... It would deal 144 damage already, if I'm correct. That's crazy. Right, I guess we can build a time stealer. Just so I can show you most of the units. 
Good to have them all in my first two rolls. Absorption. Every two seconds, the time steal absorbs 10% of the attack speed of random enemy units. DB of last 5 seconds while the buff is permanent and up to 10 times stackable. So he steals the attack speed from units. That's cool. That should be especially on, on boss waves, should be super strong. He up him. I'm either. Upgrade complete. Timeless. Every 30 seconds the Time Eater creates a time zone which increases the move and attack speed of all Time Eater by 50%. Enemy units in the field are slowed by 20% move and attack speed. Ah, that's why I said it works probably well with the Tree of Time also. Since this also removes attack speed in this area. Let's see. Yeah. So at this point the game crashed. And the reason was simply the Time Eater and Tree of Time or Polar Bear don't work that well together. And um, yeah, the game crashed for everyone. So um, like all eight of us got crashed because of me, basically. But yeah, that was the bug, uh, most likely. Brother's gonna fix it. And um, yeah, soon you can play the game again then. <laughs> like without the bugged version. And I hope that I will also be able to play it um, without bugs, so um, I'm excited to see some more games of this version. Thanks for watching everyone and see you in another time. Bye bye.